Morning, it's Brentley here from Huckabones. Uh, we're gonna go over the Legend Aluminum Landscape Trailers today. This is our first load from Legend. They are out of Michigan, and we're super excited to have them here now in stock at Huckabones. Stay tuned and we'll go through the details. Legends unloaded from that truck. We're going to go through the whole model list here, but we do have two models to go through today, both single axle utility trailers. We got our low side option here with a little perimeter board around it, and we've got our open deluxe with a little bit higher side and all open. So stay tuned, we'll go through both models. To give you an overview why we got Legend trailers here from Michigan, uh, I've been personally selling them for about 10 years at another dealership. And also, I've personally owned three Legends and been totally satisfied with all three models. So it's a high quality aluminum product. They're gonna sell aluminum landscape trailers, both single axle and tandem. They're gonna sell an aluminum car hauler. They're gonna sell aluminum floats. And then we're gonna get into enclosed cargo trailers. That's to come. The first load is here. We're super excited. Uh, these guys and girls at Legend Manufacturing, I've been down to the plant, seen them firsthand building, very clean operation. The Owners use the trailers, the customers use the trailers, most importantly, the employees use the trailers. I've personally got three legends, absolutely love them. So why they're here at Huckabones, great product, great service behind the fact, and uh, most of these trailers, you're gonna get anywhere from one year to five year warranties. That's why they're here. All right, to start, we're gonna do the aluminum low side trailer. So this is gonna have an inch and a half upper railing here and an inch by three top railing on the build. Open side other than it's gonna have a five quarter board on the bottom just to hold some things in. You've got an A-frame tongue for strength, uh, two inch ball, tongue jack, flat four wiring, all the standard stuff there, LED lights. Aluminum fenders are gonna be diamond plate on this. You're gonna have a 14 inch radial tire on a steel rim and then you're gonna have a 3,500 pound spring axle. Uh, the last thing that I'll talk about is the ramp. And this is on all legends, but the ramp on this trailer can fold all the way down on the bed. We'll look at that at a different model uh, or stand straight up, as you can see, pinned up. So now we're moving to the open deluxe trailer. This is the signature series. This is your you know, heavy duty trailer. Great, great build. Uh, the 5 eight's a little different from the rest. So we're gonna go over this one specifically and then we'll jump into the rest of the six or seven wides. Uh, your five foot wide is gonna have that same A-frame as your other uh, low side trailer we just went over. The difference here is you're gonna have an inch and a half by inch and a half upright square tubing on your railing, but you're gonna have a two by two on the top rail. So a little bit heavier top rail. Uh, all the trailers we're ordering, we're ordering with the spare tire holder and D-rings in the floor. Forgot to mention that in the other one, but it is what Huckabones equipment is ordering for their trailers, not a standard feature. Again, 14 inch radial tire, diamond plate fenders. Your ramp folds in, ramp stands up, whichever way you need to haul. So this is the five by eight model. Uh, it does come with a 2,200 pound axle. This is gonna be standard just for this model. Again, smaller size, smaller weight capacity is needed. The one upgrade that uh, Huckabones Equipment's gonna do with all these trailers is a torsion rubber axle. So this gets rid of your springs. It's a nicer ride, especially when loaded. You don't get bouncing all over the place with a lighter aluminum trailer. And it's just a no maintenance thing. There's rubbers inside the housing. Flex is great, lasts a long time. It's all sealed up. But uh, this, is, this is a nice upgrade and we'll have them on all of our open deluxes. Moving on, still with the open deluxe series, but we're gonna go to the 610 and 612 models. Again, same as the five by eight with inch and a half by inch and a half uprights, but a two inch perimeter top rail. You're gonna get into your diamond plate fenders. You're now gonna step up to a 15 inch tire that's radial. Uh, same rear ramp, just a little wider. Uh, the big difference in structure is your two by three, big beefy tongue right there. Why it's big and beefy is it'll go all the way to about four or five inches in front of your axle. That's strength all the way to back here for support. Everyone's talked about aluminum not being the strongest steel, aluminum cracking, aluminum failing. This is gonna prevent that. So nice big heavy tongue. Your side supports out to it again, bracing that and alleviate any cracking. You got your spare mount again. You got your D-rings in on the floor that we add as a standard at Huckabones Equipment. You will have some stake pockets down here, standard. That will come right from Legend, so you got them as well. We're gonna move back here. You see this ramp that is folded down, 
There is a pin spot on your left side right over here. So you pin that down for safety. But other than that, flip up, pin it upright, pin it all the way down. You can see that that's effortless as it is aluminum. Other than that, LED lights, again, two inch ball, seven pin wiring on the, this trailer here because we've added brakes to this specific model to give you a little more payload. Uh, the six by 10, just standard flat four wiring. Moving to the last series or last size in this series, sorry, is the seven wides. We just went over the six wides, minimal changes, but we're gonna go over them. Same front end on your three by six main tongue that goes down the center for structure. Uh, two inch ball, tongue jack, all that stuff, LED lights. Again, spare tire mount from uh, Huckabones, D-rings from Huckabones that way. Where it is gonna change, my, the six wide behind me has got a two by three mainframe here where you're gonna go to a two by four mainframe on your seven wide. So a little bit heavier duty again, the extra width. Uh, this is gonna be 82 inches wide between the fenders. Great for side by sides, great for wider tractor implements, that sort of thing. The other upgrade we did, just the same as the 612s, we had put brakes on these trailers. That will give it the full 3,500 pound gross capacity. That's gonna allow us to maybe, hey, put a BX on there from Kubota, uh, have your side by side with a cab and tracks, that kind of thing. The weight payload's gonna be there. So little upgrade that we've done on that torsion axle again, on those 15 inch rims again, same ramp, a little wider, folds down to just the same. So very similar, but a few uh, extra upgrades. All right, just to recap on the Legend all aluminum single axle landscapers. To my left here is the low side aluminum trailer. A little bit lighter duty frame, making your cost effective trailer. Six by 10, six by 12 options with spring axle, uh, 14 inch tires on these. Going over to your open deluxes, a little bit heavier duty frame. You're gonna go to a five by eight that's gonna have a 2200 pound axle, again with those 14 inch tires. And then your six wide, seven wides are gonna go to a 3500 pound axle. And again, Huckabones exclusive, we're upgrading all the trailers to have torsion axles on the open deluxes. All trailers that we talked about are going to have your spare tire holder, you're going to have your D-rings, uh, and again, all of them are going to have that fold down ramp feature. So, a couple other options that you can do is aluminum skirting on the sides to close them in. Spare tires can be added uh, along lastly with aluminum rims is a popular option. Hope you liked the video today uh, on your Alleged Aluminum Single Axle Landscapers. Uh, if you did, like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.